It's a sign of the slowly changing seasons in Minnesota. Winter gives way to golf. Players and course managers have high expectations that the golf momentum that started during COVID restrictions will continue. Mike Johnson has the story. It's the sweet sound of a new season of golf. Excited to get out here, get going, uh, get the season started. Hopefully spring will show up and we can, we can get moving. At Anoka County's Chamonix Golf Course, players were working out the winter rust just as the course prepared to open. Along with finally being able to mow the fairways and greens, this trailer pulled wind machine is blowing away a winter season of fallen sticks to make way for golf balls. Last year, 2021, was another record-breaking year. So we had two back-to-back. -back. Chamonix recorded more than 28,000 rounds of golf in 2020 and 26,000 last year. Both were record breakers in terms of revenue, and expectations are high again. Making uh, tea time for next Monday? Um. The phone is ringing nonstop, so people want to get out here and play after this winter. Perhaps the only silver lining to the pandemic came at golf courses like this. They were among the few places you could go and keep a safe distance. The last couple of years, it was next to impossible to get tea times, um, so, you know, the the one good thing from COVID is not only did this golf course you know get saved, um, but yeah the 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 amount of people and friends that I know that are getting into golf or or getting into golf much more seriously has has increased quite a bit. Chris Jerombeck was working on his swing and setting up standing arrangements for about a dozen players to come here each week. This is also the first full year the banquet facilities will be open without restrictions since 2019. Uh, we do a lot of graduation parties here. That's kind of our focus. And tough to book those when you could only have 25 people. Those limitations went away mid last year and were fully operational at this point. And Mark Johnson says golf momentum is picking up. It's very exciting. So. We're looking forward to a good year. For North Metro TV News, I'm Mike Johnson reporting. Weather permitting, Chamonix planned to open on Friday, April 22nd. It's still looking for a few seasonal workers, including several part-time and full-time ground crew positions available. You can find out more at Chamonix.com.